Hello and welcome to this early access first look map tour of Saxthorpe Farms by Farms in Bresco. Now this map is still a working project. It is close to the end of it being a working project. Uh, there are still a few little details to be placed around the map and uh, I think the uh, map borders still need to be put on so during the tour I need to be careful we don't go off the edge. Uh, but it is a a very nice map. It is a true to life realistic setting. Saxthorpe is situated about 30, yeah, about 30, 35 miles north of uh, Norwich, city that I grew up in. This farm, this area isn't very far from me, and it is extremely true to life in its setting with just a few changes obviously for playability of the map within the game so with that let's go and take a look at the map so here it is saxthorpe farms now this is the second map that farms and briscoe has brought to fs22 he created the oaks which is an extremely realistic map set in there that is a 4x map this is a 2x map and he is hoping this time around to uh, bring Saxthorpe to the in-game mod hub and to console. So it's a big step forward for him. So hopefully uh, all goes well in that front. Now we start down at the store, which is down here, vehicle shop. And by us we have a farmer's market and a class grain store. We have a gas station large barn we have east coast grain plc bay three we've got bay one and bay two are just on top of each other here and then we have the east coast bales sale point just north of them we have a tox timber limited and the sawmill grain there are a lot of uh, sale points on the map which is really quite nice competitive prices you have the uh, farmer silo down the bottom here for you to use we have the uh, BGA root crops, and then we also have the BGA plant, which is here. And then down on the left, we have Saxfoot Grain Limited. There's Bay 1 and 2 underneath each other. Then over on the west, we have the Green Tower Grain Bay 1. I'm not sure if there's a Bay 2 underneath it. There possibly, I think there was. Then further up, we have our Animal Dealer and the Fisher's Bale Sale. This is a pen that's been put down for the animal dealership to have uh, animals at, so that's, that's not really applicable. It's just the way that it's been placed. Then uh, to the north, we have Big Cow Barn, two of those, and then we have uh, Briscoe's Cow Pastures, which are just there. And that's your main Saxthorpe Dairy Farm. Now, if we just check and see what we own when we come in, now, whether or not this will be the land and the plots you own when the game is, uh, or when the game, when the map is fully released, I'm not certain on that. Like I say, there are still a few things that are being tweaked and changed. But at the minute, it's quite generous. You own a few different plots. Now, I've given myself a little extra cash because there's some extra plots I want to buy us as we go in. Uh, we've got the store here. I'm not quite certain as to why that is, but we, we, we buy it just to make sure that everything's working. Things aren't overly expensive. Now here we have uh, some sheds and some storage. I wanna buy that plot of land just to make sure that we can use them on the map tour. And that's only eight, eight just under nine grand. Then we have the grain silo point here. You don't own that as you come in and we're gonna buy that to make sure that we can see all that as we get down there. There is also Plot 48, where we've got some things I'd like to uh, purchase and show. There are little farm setups based around spots. You can you can do some different things with it. Now, I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, we obviously need to buy the main farm. Hopefully, you'll come in with that. I'm not sure whether it's set up this way so that if you want to, you can start anywhere you want or you can come in just owning it. I mean, it, it's a good option either way. So... We'll just buy that up. That is uh, just over two two hundred fifty thousand, two hundred sixty grand. 
And I think if off the top of my head, that is what I wanted to purchase for now. If, if I come across a bit that I've missed that I did want, we'll take 64 just in case. But that's it. That's what we want to take. Now, general field prices, uh, out of what we don't own, I think like 26, 27 might be some of the, the larger, more pricier. Uh, 705,000, 714,000. But then we do have small plots like 56, which come in at uh, so 24,000. We've got 36,000 here. And we've got this plot here, which I'm just going to check again. There's nothing on it, I don't think, but I'm going to buy that just to be cautious, just in case it's something I want to show. And then you can also purchase the area around the uh, the grain tower, the cell point here. And I think that's purely for if you wish to customise it. You can't actually buy the plot that the, the actual um, sale points are on. The BJ isn't a purchase purchasable spot. So that should work regardless of who owns it. There are patches that you can't buy. You can't buy up the roads. So certain peripheries aren't purchasable, so you can't sort of <laughs> break the map in that sense. But everything else is pretty much purchasable, and I believe they all come as individual plots. There's no, no parents, no doubles. There is small clumps of forestry. And uh, we'll, you'll see it as we go around. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice treat. Now, since it's WIP, you don't come in with any starting equipment yet. That is something that he is working on, I believe, this evening as I'm recording that. When he messaged me, he said there's a few jobs he's going to be doing. And I think the uh, the starting equipment is going to be it. So we've just got the trusty Land Rover in, or the Range Rover in. Um, actually, let's just quickly get rid of this, and we'll uh, run around the store. So you've got the store... Purchase point in. I. That is where the vehicles come in. I was going to buy my tractor, but I don't need to. That is where your vehicles start to spawn in. Yeah, I do like to do that. Yeah, it's a uh, bit of work and space. I don't think the uh, there is a, uh, a workshop trigger here. You have workshop triggers out around the map. Not one there. It's got my finger stuck. Right. So, all professional like, let's go out and have a look. So, over to the right, straight away. Got the, the farmer's market sale point, the equivalent of. Simple drop off there. And then we have the grain point for it as well, around the back. Now, unlike some British maps that we've uh, seen recently, this this is this is a very realistic feeling to the area. Now, if you're not from Norfolk, you might think that things feel a little bit open or a bit flat. That's Norfolk. This is this is where we live. This is what it's like. So I'm just going to pop. I'm, I was going to say for your sake, for my sake. We're going to pop the um, triggers on and the map on and things like that because I will get lost. Even though I've driven around the map quite a few times, I will get lost. So we're going to start by heading straight north from here, Norwich that way. And we'll take in some of these farms and barns. So just here on the right, this is a little plot that you can buy. have storage just set off at the side of the road. Just a little, little area where you can store and you can buy that house. So this could be your starting spot. You buy that plot, you buy this plot and that's, that's maybe the start of your contracting career. For your first car, your first tractor, whatever it is you like, however it is you choose to play, that can be the thing. Now, I'm not going to rush myself through this, so this may be a little bit longer than the average 
sort of first look tool, but it's a beautiful map and I wanna wanna do it justice. Now I normally drive around in in cab, so I'll try not to hit anything. Here, let me jump out. This plot of land is reasonably flat. This uh is you know, with the assumption of this is for you to place down any sort of production sites that you may want to purchase this up. Place down some productions or you could build a little farm on here, you can start from that. Then if I just take a little wander around, we have our large sale complex. So we have uh, bay one for grain sales, bay two for grain sales, we have bale sales here, and around the back we have bale sale point three. And the, the prices at all three stations are different and they all vary, they all change which is nice and like I said there are quite a few different sail points on the map uh, and many of them have multiple bays so you know make sure you're dropping off at the right spot to uh, sell your goods then as we head a little further north come in we have the sawmill just up here and these are the areas obviously that are added in for you know playability of the map there's not a sawmill here there's not a grain mill like that there these these would be plots as you can see in the map on the overlay these are areas that would be other fields but your usual sawmill tricks purchase point and management and all that there sales and then you have a another grain drop-off sale point for the sawmill as well. Like I say, all very competitive. There's a lot going on here for your finances. And with the the extra little little plots of land and farms that are there, although it's not, you know, it's not massive map, not like uh, the Oaks was, being a two times map, it's still got that that workability for multiplayer, you can buy a little house up, you can buy a little homestead and work from there. Now this little plot, this is purchasable and this again you could use for building whatever you like on here, a nice little placeable spot or start a farm. Um, there are also areas like this around the map uh, just for storing loose grain on, so it has, has that uh, realism to it as well. Uh, anyone that's sort of familiar with uh, Clarkson's farm you'll have seen those guys dump loose grain uh, just on the tarmac area sometimes cover it up sometimes they left it out to get wet so out here I'm just going to bring the big map up for a second you'll see there's a the, uh, little triangular area above 21 now that's not something that you uh, like with anything on it it's just really, really busy uh, track. But look at this. I think this is beautiful. This is exactly what it's like to walk around in rural Norfolk, between the fields, all opening up. It is it's quite spacious. You can get machinery down it. It's really nice. That's what we've got out here. I just wanted to come down here and show you guys this bit. This just reminds me of like spring and summer walks out with the family this is really nice you have dog walkers down here and that sort of thing and um, although we've not got no uh, like sail points points of interest we are going to venture a little bit further north as well there are a few ponds and water sources around the map so you've got another flat area there that you could buy up and you could build on, it's just within the trees. The open end is a bit further back. But yeah, so there are, there are water sources on the map. If you want to cat, it'll go and fetch the free wild water, as it were. Now something that I do like about this is that we have, although the road is narrow, we have the nice wide verges, we have overhanging trees, we have bushes, fencing, everything's placed about. Uh, you can actually buy up uh, this patch of wild grass, not that little one there, but the patch of wild grass coming up on the right. I'll show you in a second. 
we go. We've got a pond here. A little water source if you want to come down and get in there and get that. Lovely views across here. We can uh, come out a little bit more. Absolutely gorgeous. I really like it. You can tell. But yeah, this little wild grass here, this wild land here, you can purchase up separate from anything else and just I don't know, what do what you like with that. Stick some more trees down. It's nice that it's not just, you know, field, 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 field. Because that's that's not necessarily what the countryside is like. If you're gonna do a realistic map then, you know, you've got to keep it realistic. Now over to our right. There's a little bit of woodland there, and then that's the map edge. Again, um, that bit of woodland on the right comes with field 25. You buy them as a plot, they're all together. And then you've got a track that runs all the way down to, shall we... No, I'm not doing it. We've got the main farm last. Down to the, you get all the way down to the, uh, the dairy farm down that way. So it's all interconnected in a similar way as to my friend Cavalier Roy. All them little back roads, they all interconnect and... You know, that's why I like his maps as well, because that adds some to it, that is how it is. You, you, little weavy roads and tracks and stuff to to get to fields. So we're going to head all the way back down, and then we'll uh, head from uh, east to west across the bottom of the map. Taking in some points along the way. But yeah, massive thanks once again to to Farms in Briscoe for allowing me early access for this. I haven't done necessarily a great deal of testing for him on this one. I haven't haven't done a lot of that, but he's been kind enough to uh, send me regular updates of the map as he's been going along. You know, local lads, we stick together, help each other out. I'll be doing some private play on this, uh, checking out the cell points. What I like to do, because a lot of the testers just generally they go around they make sure everything works I get a little bit hokey pokey about trees so I, I put my sprint speed up and I will run around and I will check all the trees are in the ground properly that's, that's one of the things I like to do so we'll just loop around the back here this is one of the plots that I brought up at the start just to make sure all the sheds and everything worked it just makes sense to make sure you're on the land And this was the plot that was about, what was that, 8,800. So you've got some loose grain storage there. By the way, I lied. There is a, a, a repair trigger at the store, I think. Um, we have a little bit of shed here. Lancy Boy Sheds. This, like uh, the Oaks, comes with you know, a good list of um, required mods. Nothing's been built into that. Everything is a required mod. Thanks to the way that FS22 works now, if you need a mod it'll tell you and it'll prompt you to download it as well, which is a really nice trick. But in here we have a workshop there, should you need it. And also, once again, these older sheds, they open up, fit some small machinery in there. Little dumping area there. Clear that out, make yourself a little strip through. So yeah, that's, that's this little bit. I quite like this. The there is a house just up, so you can buy up the house and uh, work once again. Work from there. That can be your contractor's yard. That can be a small arable farm yard, just doing its thing. So I think we want to come right out here. Gas station on our left, but we're going to go right. I will try and remember to put a link to our farms and briscoes. Discord and Facebook page and to his YouTube channel. He recently put up a video, sh it was a video showing the comparisons of real life to his map. Um, so, those that may want to question it, they should uh, can go and check that out. See how, how realistic it is, how close it is with uh, placement and stuff like that. And the uh, the high verge, I like the high verge. Sort of hide in the fields. Once again, that's how it is. 
little house here. And then here we have this I like access down to the field and a little bit of wild grass. Again, it's not it's not field right up to the road. They're not all like that. You have to get a little ways in sometimes. So if we keep on going, I think we head down here. We do. And you can buy these little areas up. That's one that I forgot to buy up. So let's see if it works without me buying it up. I didn't buy this. So it's, it's a machine hall. Uh, yeah, it does. You can dump some crops in there if you so wish and choose. There's, there's space to probably get a few extra sheds down if you want. Now I'm not certain if I'm missing a shed in my mod folder. There is there is a chance that there is one that I've not got. Or well, that may be waiting to go in later. Like I say, it is WIP, so things can be missing. A bit of land there as well, so you can build on. I think even when I uh, looked around the oaks and I did that live, I was missing a mod, so we uh, didn't. Uh, we had a bunker that was missing, I think, and one shed. But the map is closer now to release than when I first shoot some pictures on Facebook, Discord, and I think a few of them on, on my YouTube channel as well. So it's, get, it's getting closer, so I'm more confident in showing it showing it off. I don't like showing off people's maps um, too early, because there's not always things that you want to see, and there'll be things that change. There may still be some things that change here, but it's going to be a closer representation to this than, than maybe uh, a month or two ago. So we've got uh, plenty of storage here. This is where the your storage silo is if you wish to use one. Buy the plot of land, sell it. Sell anything, do what you like with it. You know, it's, it's farm sim. Again, we've got another empty spot there. So I, it, it may be one that's not yet listed in the required mods. So nice big shed here. Loose grains or, or machines. Again, this then comes out of access onto fields. Last time I drove around this map, I think we had um, corn in here. I like that it's changed every time I've come in. <laughs> it makes it feel new to me. Another shed. Again, plenty of space. These are just little footprints with plenty going on. I'm just going to run around. You can see a little bit of the countryside with me. Exploring Norfolk. Now, later on, there may be other things added in that I miss. Now, if I remember rightly, there isn't anything off down to that left that'll, that'll curl around and just take you off map. So we'll come up here. But be mindful that I've not got. Uh, borders on. Don't want to be like in Glen Ethan when I uh, tried to drive off the map because it looked like it was meant to go a certain way and it, it didn't. So you have access to more fields down that way. And the the grass in the in the road is meant to be there. That's not like error for textures or anything like that. That's that's supposed to be there. You know, represents a, a, an old an old road. So we have BGA signposted. Up we go. Absolutely beautiful as we drive around. So it's a nice big BGA that you've got here. You've got three big clamps. And a dumping point. A sale point for the BGA. That's BGA root crop. Um, yeah, three big clamps. Machine storage there. Nice big BGA. We all know how a BGA works. Load it in. Let it do its thing. Get paid. Collect your digestate. Don't really do a lot of uh, BGA work. Perhaps I need to uh, consider that in a in a series. 
keep saying I'm going to buy the BGA on Shire Farm and just keep buying up more land. Sometimes I see <laughs> BGA workers just being a lot of work to do when I can just wrap bales or sell silage. So we're going to come out, we're going to continue working our way across the bottom of the map. There isn't traffic at the minute, the um, traffic is being worked on as well. So there's not there's none present, but there, there should be, there will be. Have a little look across the, uh, the vista. Like I say, some people say it's a little bit flat, but it's supposed to be, it is flat around here. So you buy a nice little house. Let's jump out and have a little look. Buy yourself a little house with a plot of land around the back. It just goes off. Off into the woods. Ah, lovely. Get your truck down there. Take out a few trees. If that's your thing. Got a few trees in on our left as well coming up I say it's not a lot there's not a lot of, of forest area around here you just walk just walk through you'll see yeah a little bit of woodland we can get into that from further around we want to go a little further To our left. I believe I want to go down here. It is marked up. Sacks called grains. Nice weavy little road. So at the first point, uh, this is land uh, that we purchased. I think it was plot like 48 or something. Gated land. And shed space. Buy this little plot up, run a little farm out of here. Like I say, you can buy up the housing areas. I mean, if you're on PC, you can put the, the place anything anywhere mod down and you can live where you like. Little shed here. And this comes with this plot of land here. Another water source, should you wish. But you could put some oak pastures down. Just keep some horses, keep some horses or some goats around here, and yeah, that takes you into a little woodland area. If forestry work is your thing, that'll take you down to uh, field two here. Very nice. Just make our way back in. Honestly, it just feels very familiar. I grew up in the city, but my uh, my stepfather's, my grandfather was uh, from the country. He used to live out uh, Lemway, Great Wichcombe Way. Spent a lot of time just roaming around out there as a young lad with my brother. And these sort of areas is where we'd walk to. Again, you could buy this up, you could sell that, you could put what you like here. Where to leave the car? we be. So then further down we have the grain sale point. Just on our left. Careful not to uh, go too fast and just <laughs> yeet myself off the map. There we are. Two bays, bay one and two. Again, varying prices. So make sure you hit the right one when you come down to sell. So we'll head up and we'll next head to sort of plot 14, field 14, for our next sale point.
be interesting to see how it feels with a bit of traffic and how, how regular he makes the vehicles. I'd say hopefully not overly regular, but entirely up to him. The roundabout is the map border, as you can see we're, we're right on it, so we don't want to go any further out there. And then here we have a grain mill, and this one, uh, I believe this one is the production one. So it had the, uh, the trigger around the side, and spawn is here, so this flour mill. It's also got load in and a sail there as well, so be mindful of where you're putting it. I'm not sure if, if you brought it or something, I'll have to check if you buy it, and whether you can then pop in both, or if one just remains a single sail point, quite possibly. I'd be surprised if they both then linked into the, uh, the flour mill. So we'll keep our eye out for left because it is the animal dealer up this way. And lovely views across the land. Another little spot here where you can either use it as a loose grain dump if you place yourself down some of the, uh, the concrete wall slab parts, partitions and store grain there or you can build on it. You feel 15 is a relatively large 15, it's, it's bigger than it looks. Love this log track all the way down here, absolutely love it. There's just little things about certain maps when you're on them that just really get you. Yeah, <laughs> speeding down an empty country lane and that does it for me so this is our animal dealership jump out here so yeah this as you can see this pops up as a animal pen and that's just so you can have the visualisation of live animals at the animal market pigs and sheep then over on this side, you've got cows. Purchase point there. Drive up or order to be delivered. And we've got the animal dealer, bail, sale point. And then access from here, you can get into field 38. And you can get into field 38 from the other side as well. You don't have to bring your machinery down that lane and uh, free the animal dealer. But again, a very nice animal dealer. It's nice that he's... Uh, Found a way of getting some animals in there. Static ones are sometimes nice, but ones that are moving around are great. And he's used the method of um, populating AI, what we call AI farmer uh, pastures. He's used that method to uh, populate the animal dealer instead. Nice way to work around it. So we're going to head. think not 100% now no, I'm not 100% I can't I think that might just take me into the next field off the top of my head um, so yeah we're gonna head head back down and then we'll shoot up to through the middle of the map to the uh, the dairy and cattle farm um, it won't take us too long, don't you worry. But yeah, um, Farmson Briscoe, he's uh, doing well to work his way through bringing <laughs> most of Norfolk to Farmson. He already has his third project in mind. So no, another chunk. I think this the next area is going to be one that's a little bit closer my way, more uh, east Norfolk, a little bit, a little bit north of the Oaks where that was. 
I was working on a map myself. I still may, I still may try and get that done. Um, a little bit further, a little bit further east of where he's looking to go. It's just finding the time to do all that stuff and to be able to make content. And as of right now, I have very little time. We have new people, so it's either busy, noisy, or I'm just tired. <laughs> right, so we'll take a left here. Go north. We'll go and find the, uh, the dairy farm. Again, this just looks so nice. I'm just going to go through and pop new lag. Oh, there we go. Just a little in cab as I go up here, because that's... That's the view we know. Now there are, like I say, there are tracks that go all the way around fields to link everything up, and so you can get everywhere. So you've got the main road that goes south. You've got a little old track. So you've got this road that will take you back into town. You've got that track that takes you up to the dealership. But everything sort of east on the map and northeast of the map that's all interconnected through through tracks so if you want to get if you want to get to them fields you have to go out and explore and find your way try not to uh, host down there too quick and rush it so that road will keep leading you off that way but we want to go even put me indicator on, but not as bad a driver as people think. Open our gate. This is our land. Turn off. Right. Now I'd never really used these um, cow bars before, so the first time I had a little fiddle around on them. I was a little bit confused, but I know how they work now, so that's all right. I've got to remember if I can remember how they work. It's not that difficult, like, hit the trigger and it's done, but yeah. Anyway, this is Saxful Dairy Farm. Machine, loose grain storage. So this is the first of your large cattle sheds, and this is the largest. This one holds 300. I can find the trigger, it's a little bit off. And we'll put some in there. Yeah, 300 cows. 25. So, and that will put them in this one. And in this one. Now, that's that's the little bit that confused me to start with. And these don't... See, that's what got me. You have to go around the other side to feed. So this is manure here. Feed down there. And I believe, uh, I believe bedding goes in that way as well. Like I said, I've not, not fully used them. It's something I'm going to play around with. Bedding could possibly go in there since we have the straw there. And you slurry here. Again, these are a required mod. They're not built in. And then the next, the next um, cow barn, I guess, is, 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 where's the trigger? Honestly, I forget everything. It's, it's this one here. <laughs> there we go. And we'll buy them. As you see, this one's a few, a few less. This is only 100. Oh, sorry, 200. So there's 500 cows within the three sheds. What confused me was that there was three sheds, but only two uh, purchase triggers. That's, that's what got me. And then uh, feed down the bottom there, or in the middle there. Collect milk here. You collect milk at the urns on that one. Yeah, and I think the bedding goes in maybe around this side. Slurry. And manure. And that's your indoor K 
cow. So it's just should we go? Yeah, let's go this way. We'll check it out. And then have machines, storage sheds. I'd say this was a big hay shed. Bit of space here if you want to put even more storage down. But then as we come this way. We have two open cattle pastures as well. We'll buy some more. We're just gonna pop them in. And these have the same capacity. They're flipped. They, they, I believe these are just the open pastures. 150 each. We buy them. So that's another 300 cows you can store. Or raise a store and raise them out here and uh, yeah they are they are more than happy living the good life absolutely love it looking out across your fields let's go check out the rest of the sheds and the spaces on the farm Shower shed so yeah, back to what we have here. We have another large storage shed. Machine, loose grain, whatever you like. Put your bales in there. Uh, an open round. Closed round. This one has workshop as well, mustn't forget. Open that up there, bring your vehicles in. Workshop trigger. Shut the door. All very nice. Another one there. Another little space around here, and you've also got access from this side into there. Two large bunkers. The silage, and access out onto your field here. You have, you have field 40 and 31, which is the other side of the farm, and a track that will lead you, and that will connect all the way out onto the uh, the track that we came in on. Or take you all the way down to 30 and 18. And that is Saxthorpe Farms. And I think this is a beautiful map. I think this if this can get onto the in-game mod hub, if this can get onto consoles, and at the minute I can't see why it shouldn't. As long as everything under the hood is alright. And uh, Giants are happy with the way things are done and set up. I think this could be a very successful, very popular map. I'm going to start enjoying some time on it. I may try and get a little bit of streaming done on it. Either before it comes out or once it comes out. I've got a few other things in the pipeline of what I'm going to be trying to do. I've got my regular series that's going as well. So uh, if you're new to the channel, check them out. Um, but that is it. So hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. I'll put links to Farm Sim Briscoe down in the description or in the comments. You guys have a wonderful day, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.